Jonathan. Like most of us, I was born and raised in a Christian family. Even though you're born in a Christian family, it doesn't mean that you automatically become a Christian and that you'll go to heaven. In Romans 3.23, it says that for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. With the way that I was headed with my life and the things that I was doing, it was not bringing me closer to God in heaven. I was sinning and I didn't care that I was sinning and I felt bad that I was sinning. Even though that I was sinning all the time, God still loved me and cared for me. God kept on speaking to me through prophecies that other prophets had. And he was revealing that he had a big plan for me and that all I needed to do was just turn my life around. I still didn't really change after hearing these prophecies. Uh, I would think about them and maybe change a little bit. I wouldn't give my whole life to the Lord. I'm here today because I want to give my life to the Lord and I want to serve Him from this day forward. A week ago I got into a car accident and through it God showed me that He still loved me and had mercy for me. I was frustrated at the time, but and I couldn't believe that what was happening, but God had a plan for me. At the time, my dad was out of town and he was with a few prophets and they had a prophecy about my accident and how the devil was furious on me and he tried to destroy my life. But God did not allow the devil to harm me because my name was written in the book of life. God didn't allow the devil to do more. I want to let everyone know that it is easy to give your life to the Lord and you just have to follow his plan. A week ago I did not plan to get baptized, but the Lord had a different plan for me. If you would have asked me if before last week if I was saved, I would have said, I don't know or no. But now that I know that I am saved. I decided to get baptized this week because I want to follow Jesus from this day forward no matter what I did in the past. I'm saved by grace. In Romans 8, 5 it says, But God demonstrates his love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. I know I do not deserve his love and salvation. But I want to get closer starting now. Before I didn't read the Bible much or pray, but now I plan on reading more and diving into His Word and praying more. Psalms 119.9 says, How can a young person stay in the path of purity by living according to His Word? I know that I'm not perfect and I can never be perfect but I can strive to be more like Jesus every day and pray to God for strength. I know that I'll still struggle and fall, but if I stay close to God, He'll be there to pick me up. In John 15, 5, it says, If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. I plan on praying and getting baptized with the Holy Spirit and I want to see what else God has in store for me. I thank God for loving me and still staying with me through my whole life. And I'm also thankful for my family and everybody else who stayed in prayer for me. Thank you.